Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches on this palette which I took forever for me to do a review and swatch video because I changed my thoughts throughout the way. You'll find out later about that. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let's just get right on into the video. So first, I'm going to give you some information about this little palette right here. This is by Tarte, and you can purchase this on the Tarte website. Let me show you. Zoom in <laughs> closely. Close and personal. Do you like my makeup today, guys? I love it. I'm using this palette, by the way, on my eyes. I'll tell you later what I have on my eyes, but oh, I love it. So, let me see. Let me just get... Okay, so this is what it looks like on the website. It's the Tarte TS Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. Um, it retails for fifty. Oh, okay then. It retails for fifty three dollars, and I got mine for Christmas, so I didn't actually pay for it. Um, but you know, it's all biased and honest. It says a pro level everyday eyeshadow palette with twenty ultra pigmented shades, powered by naturally. Div divided ingredients. Oh, um, it has each each eyeshadow pan is one gram or zero point zero thirty five ounces, so at times twenty, which each shadow would be that much. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I'll link where you can purchase it down below, like I always do with these kind of reviews. Um, yes. So I'm gonna show you guys some swatches and then. I'll be right back to give you guys a review of this palette. So and this is what the outside of the packaging looks like. It's just this um, matte kind of velvet, not velvet, like smooth finish. And it does get a little bit dirty. I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't get as much dirty as like the Lorac um, palettes. But yes, um, I love it. I love the sleekness that it has. It has this like metallic like lettering and it says Tarte T is Pro and then Tarte in like metallic gold. I love it. And then on the back, it's just like this metallic shiny gold, which I love. If you, um, definitely if I go travel, I'm definitely gonna bring this because it just has everything that you would want in a palette. It says Tarte T is Pro and some more information. And I don't know if you can see, but like all, like most makeup, some of it, ha oh, you can see the camera, but it has like this, oh, focus. It has like this little trash can and it says like when it, it expires and it says 12 months. Um, I don't know about that. Sometimes I don't like think the review, like the, what they claim like to be expired is like true. Um, but yes, this is what the inside looks like. Very beautiful shades. And you get a big, huge mirror. Oh my god, you can see yourself. But huge mirror, which I love. I, I've been using this to like get ready with like my whole makeup, like do my makeup this mirror and it's amazing. It's so clear. Love high quality mirror. I love it huge. It's like the size of the top of the palette. Like it's amazing. So this is what an overview of the palette looks like. It's really hard to see because the shininess of it. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see that? <laughs> Kinda. But it has, it doesn't, the camera's not showing. But yeah, the camera, sorry, my card ran storage, but the camera's not giving it any justice. It's beautiful. So you get four shimmer shades and 18 matte shades. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's get on into these swatches. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with each like row. So like this is one row, this is one row, this is one row, this is one row. And actually Tarte mentioned like on their Snapchat that you can use each row as a look. So this could be a look, that could be a look, that can be a look. And I'll mention my dot thoughts about that in my review part. But yes, I'm gonna start swatching this. I think I'm gonna do live swatches. So yes, let's start. So the first shade is called Classic. This is basically like a classic um, I don't know how it is, but like a classic, um, what do you call it? It's like a base shade, like a 
basically a classic, it's classic, um, basically what its name is. It's like this beautiful, I use this like today to, to set my base and it's awesome, I love it. I love the tone yet yellowness of it. This one's pretty creamy. These shadows can be a tiny bit powdery, but honestly they're so buttery and pigmented that doesn't matter. So that's what classic looks like. So the next shade is in in uh, uh, sorry correct me if I'm wrong with these in in incent I don't really know it's that shade right there you cannot right there I don't know if that's right but I'm always, like I said I'm always doing two swipes for each shade oh sorry um, I'm always I'm doing two swipes each shade because honestly that gives it the best look so this shade is called in incent I don't know I'll put it on the screen somewhere but oh Sorry. But that's what it looks like. This one's a little bit powdery, um, but it blends out beautifully. I don't know if you can see. It blends out beautifully, and overall, I love this shade. Beautiful transition color. Love it. Okay, so the next shade is Whimsy, and this is like a beautiful, like, ch not chocolatey. Um, it's hard to explain these shades, but it's like, ooh, focus. It's like this beautiful orangey toned crease shade. I love this shade for like smoky eyes or just everyday eyes. This one's a little bit patchy. I just got to be a little bit honest. No, I got to be honest to be honest. Like it's a little bit patchy, but it blends out beautifully. Um, love this shade. Like it's the perfect neutral shade that everyone needs. Like, oh, love it. Beautiful. These blends out gorgeous as you can see in the swatches. Like they're amazing. They're a little bit powdery. That's the only thing I had to say about these. The next shade is called Smoked. And this is just a classic dark chocolatey brown, but it's not chocolatey. It's like dark chocolate. I don't know what I'm saying. I just have chocolate on my mind, I guess. And it does me. I feel like I always have chocolate on my mind. But it's like this chocolate. I should have swatched it like that. I'm sorry. I should have swatched it like that. But <laughs> it's like this chocolatey brown shade. It's gorgeous for like deepening up the crease or the outer V. Sorry if it's like kind of weird that I'm swatching it like this and not like that. Sorry. <laughs> but I love that shade. It's so pretty. Oh, loved. Oh, so pigmented and creamy. Like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so the, the this row, the, the one um, shimmer shade is called Ethereal, and this is, these are so creamy. The shimmer shades in this palette are over the top. I mean, over the top. Ready? Let me do the live swatch. Sorry, I haven't done lives. Okay. Uh, just take that in for a moment. Did you? I'm sorry. Tart. Oh my god. It's gorgeous, and it blends out beautifully. Um, I'm sorry for the other ones I didn't do live swatches. I kind of did, but sorry about that. But these are all one swipe. I didn't go over any, but I, I just, I went over them a little bit just to, not with any extra product. I just did to kind of see how blendable these shadows are. Um, very shimmery. It's like a, it's like a bronzy gold shade. I love this all over the lid. Oh, gorgeous. I, I use most of these shadows, by the way. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, love the shade. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so my shade is called, on the next row, is called Vintage. I'm just going to do two swipes. Okay, there we go. And then, okay. Um, this one's a little bit chalky, I just got to say, and it, it barely shows up on my skin because it's so light, but it's a little bit chalky, but it blends up nicely. Um, okay, I use that for my red one, I love it. Okay, so the next shade is called Fierce, and I love this shade. I use it today in my outer corner. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I love this shade. Okay, ready? One swipe swatch. Oh my god, are you serious? Seriously? Tart? Um, it's amazing. This shade, it, it looks darker in the pan than it does, I don't know, sorry, but it doesn't look, it looks darker in the pan than it shows up on my arm and the eyes, but I still love this shade. It's like my perfect gray tone purple. I love it to death. Okay. Uh, so the next shade is called Note Filter, and this is another, like, favorite of mine. It's like one of my favorites in the, like, entire, like, palette. Ugh. Beautiful. 
let me see. Let's watch it for you. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Oh, this shade's like the most prettiest shade. I didn't, I didn't go over in any other more color. I just blended it out. But, oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry that the... Sorry that the swatches are kind of weird, like, they're going down my arm, but I love that shade. That shade, oh, purpley toned goodness, I love it. Okay, so the next shade is called Vamp, the last matte shade in this palette. It's like this perfect, deep, plummy, I don't know how to say it, but I feel like I have nothing like this in my collection, which sounds weird because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I feel like I have nothing like this shade. No additional product. I'm just moving it out to make it look kind of better. Um, but I feel like I have nothing like this shade. Like, nothing. And it blends out dream. Like, a, I love... Oh, I have that in my outer corner. Like, I have Fierce, like, in my crease. And then... Oh, yeah. I have Fierce in my crease. And then Vamp in the outer corner. I love this shade. Oh, beautiful. It's a little bit patchy. Um, but it goes on the eyes totally fine. Okay, so the, so the um, shimmer shade in this row is called Glam, and I've been loving this for my inner corner in the middle of my lid. Like, I have that this purple shade in my lid, and then I put Glam on the center, and it just kind of lightens up it, and I put it in my inner corner. Like, oh, it's gorgeous. It's a little bit more of a darker shade for my inner corner. Oh, let me swatch it for you guys. It's more of a darker shade, but it turns out to be, like, gorgeous. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Do you guys see that pigment? Ah, oh, love it. Love, love, love. I love this for my inner corner, like, no joke. Love it. Love it. Okay. Like I said, the shimmer shades in this palette are just perfection. Love them. Um, this row is, the first shade is called Chic, and I have, do I have this? No. Um, this is like your perfect, like, I don't know how to describe this one. It's like, a, it's hard to describe this one because it's like a pale pinky perfect transition shade. It's right there. It's like so close to that other one. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but it's gorgeous. Like I gotta say, this is like gorgeous. Like for a transition, love. Okay, so the next shade is called Pro Fra Pro Fesh, and this is gorgeous as well. Love this shade. Oops, sorry guys, I have not really shown it, but, oh, I love this shade as well. This one's a little bit more powdery than the other ones, I've realized. Um, I use, I use most of them in my eyes, only like a few of the transitions, but like, other than that. So, it's super blendable, super creamy, like these are so creamy. I love it so much. Love that shade. I love it. Love it. Okay. So, the next shade is called Ma Mood. It's Ma Mod Mood. I don't know. But this is like a perfect, I think it's like the brightest shade in this palette. But it's the most gorgeous shade in this palette. This is weird spaces, but I'm swatching it. Okay, then. Okay, Sophia. But, like, this shade, I could just buy this whole palette just for this shade. It's not bright at all, but I feel like it's more on the whis risky side if you like neutral brown shades. But it's still, like, the most gorgeous shade ever. And I feel like I'm sharing the rest out. I don't know why. I'm, like, sharing them out. Sorry, you guys. Um, let me kind of build that a little bit. But, oh, love that shade. Love it. Um, okay, so the next shade, the last matte on this row is called Drama. Oh, I love this shade as well. Like, the, this palette has beautiful cranberry, like, cranberry, like, toned mauve shades. That I just love it. Oh, oh my god. I need to bring that more down. What am I doing? Um, but this shade is super creamy, super pigmented. That's, like, one swipe. Gorgeous. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so uh, the last, um, on this row, the, 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 um, shimmer shade is called Minx, and I have this all over my lid. I love it. Oh, this is my favorite shimmer shade in this palette. Just letting you guys know, because this shimmer shade, oh, sorry, I'm not doing live swatches. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, trust me, I'm doing one swipe. Like, oh my god. 
It's getting on my elbow. Oh, I have no room. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm not going to have any more room for my elbow. Um, I could just do this, this side, but... Oh my god, this is the most prettiest shade ever. Love it. If you're going for a purpley tone look, I love using that first shimmer. Love it. Okay, so the last row, the first shade is called Indie, and I have this on my as of my transition shade today. It's a gorgeous shade for a transition. I'm just going to start swatching like this because I don't have any more room if, unless I'm going to go on my elbow. But that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's like this cool toned, mood, muted, great shade. Perfect for transition, love it. Okay, so the next shade on this row is called Bold. This is another great transition color. I feel like this palette has some nice, nice, really nice transition shades. I feel like if you're a beginner, you would absolutely love this palette because it has everything. Like, it has everything you would need. So I have these in weird spaces, but love that shade. Okay, so the next shade is called Edgy, and I just love this shade. Everyone needs this in their collection. Like, oh, wait, this live swatch, though. Are you serious, guys? Look how pigmented that is. Oh, it's touching that one, but it is so pigmented, so creamy, so blended. It's one of, one of my favorite shades in this palette. It's like this chocolatey brown. Everyone needs this in their collection. Love it. Okay, so the next last matte shade in this row is called Punk, and this is just your true black shade. Oh, that's the best black I own. I'm sorry, but that black. That was one swipe, you guys. I'm just saying. One swipe. Mm hmm Can't believe it, right? Yeah, me either. Um, but so that's probably like the best black I own in my collection. It's so creamy, so buttery. Oh, love it. Okay, so the last shade in this row is trendy. I love this shade. I used it on my eyes once in one of my videos. If you watched that video, let me know in the comments because I wore this in one of my videos. And it's the most prettiest duochrome. Oh, that was messy. Okay, then. Sophia, I'm sorry that these are all over the place, the swatches. I'm going to try to fix them for you guys. I'm sorry that these are kind of all over the place for swatches and kind of messy. I'm so sorry, but... This is like this perfect, like, duochrome, it shifts blue, it shifts, like, brown, love it. Um, sorry, these are so messy, I really do apologize. So apologize. Um, but, okay, so that is the whole palette, that's what the palette looks like, and the overview, love it. Love it. And then, this is what these swatches look like on my hands. This is the, this is the... First, second, and third row, all these swatches. You get a good overview. And then this is the last row. Sorry, it's so messy. Okay, so I'm not going to go through each shade again because I already did, but I love swatches. I just dropped this palette. Hopefully it didn't break. Okay, good. I just dropped that straight on the ground and hopefully I was hoping it didn't break, but it didn't. Um, I also want to mention this is smart. This palette smells like chocolate. I don't know if they're trying to copy Too Faced or anything, but it smells like chocolate. It smells really good. Um, but swatches look beautiful, super pigmented, super buttery, and okay yeah. guys, I hope you enjoyed that little swatch video. Um, so and now I'm gonna give you guys a full-on review of this eyeshadow palette. So basically, I love this palette. Short story short, I love this palette. Um, as you can see, the swatches look beautiful and love it. Now my eye, my arm's gonna be tattooed full of swatches. Um, but I love this palette. Like, oh my god, can we take a moment? If you're a beginner and you want to start out in makeup, don't look. Don't, don't look no further. Like, this is the way to go. Nice packaging. The, the, the formula itself, I gotta say, it's powdery. Um, it's not as good as Makeup Geek, but it's up there. Because I feel like this is the, one of the best Tarte palettes ever on the market of Tarte. And these shadows can be powdery. Like when you put your finger, you put your brush in there, it can feel powdery. But it doesn't matter because... These are so pigmented and buttery, even the mattes, but especially the shimmers in this palette. 
There, like, ready? Wait. I know you just seen swatches, but like, so blendable, super creamy, like, love them. Um, if you love shimmers more than mattes, I don't think this would be a palette for you because it has mostly matte shades. But if you love some good transition crease shades and you just love mattes and you think mattes are just beautiful like if you're being I, I really think this is good for beginners because mattes are one of those things that makes an eyeshadow palette like an eyeshadow look complete um and if you love mattes i think this is amazing for you because you have so many different choices and you just love the range of shimmers that you have and i love that little pop color that they have and especially this black in the shade it's so pigmented it's super buttery super creamy i love the formula um one swipe swatch oh <laughs> they're more on the drier side but they're still creamy at the same time like when you put your finger in there they're a little bit more drier than like say violet voss eyeshadows like those are super creamy these are a little bit more drier but they still come off a of pigment um I think they're super nice and blendable. I've been using this. I got this for Christmas. But I've been using this for months now, and I just love it. I, I use mostly, yeah, wait, I use all the shades. I forgot to tell you guys. I said I only use some of the shades, but I use every single shade. Not one of the shades I don't like at all. Like, every single shade in this palette is amazing. The only one that's kind of eh about is Vintage. This shade, I know it said it was a little patchy. I know it's kind of, I don't know. I don't think we need it in this palette, but it's still kind of an extra color, if you would say. Um, I just think that shade's like perfect. Like they're very similar. This one's more white. That one's more cream. Like on my fingers, it looks so similar. But I feel like you don't need that shade. It's a little patchy. Not the like the greatest. But other than that, this palette is so amazing. Like I said, if you're a beginner and you want a nice creamy, blendable eyeshadows, I love it. Um, like I said, I've been using this for the past months and I am obsessed with this eyeshadow look I'm obsessed with. Let me tell you what I did on my eyes. So I put um, Classic on all of my lips set my face. I used Indie for my transition. I used Pro Fresh for like in like like in, um my outer V like a little bit and then like in my inner corner almost to create a small like a halo eye but I didn't end up doing that um and then I did what did I do oh no no vamp vamp in the outer corners and then on the lower lash line and that's it literally so easy oh and then. I'm sorry. Vintage on the inner, vintage on the brow bone, and glam on the inner corner. Oh, not that. Um, I'm. What am I saying? And then minx on my lid, and then glam on the center, and that's what it turned out to look like. Love this. And most, most of my videos, I probably have this palette on my eyes. Literally, there's probably not one video where I don't have this video, this video on my eyes. Palette on my eyes, and I don't know if you can see, but one of the shades is kind of like demented. But it's fine, like, honestly. Um, love the mirror. Love it. Love. Oh, there I am. Okay, then. Um, but I love it. So creamy. I love the range of shades you get. And like I said, I love, like, I've been using it since some days, like, each row, each look. Love it. So, like, one day I use, like, this row and, like, this row. I love them that you can do that, especially for beginners. If you're a beginner and you can just... Go each row and be like, oh, I can use that for one look instead of being like, oh, I don't know what shades to use with which shade. It's so much easier. You can just go each row, each row, each row, and then you have one look to complete it. And I just love how the way they arrange these, like they arrange the palette. Like they didn't just do shimmers some places and mattes some places. They just did mattes and then few shimmers. That's what I love about it. And you can create one look. I love this palette. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna keep playing in it, playing with it. Probably my top five Holy Grail palettes. Like literally, this is. Amazing. You need it in your life. If you don't have it already, like, if you're a makeup junkie and you've just been looking for a nice palette and you're a beginner, I totally, like, encourage you to buy this. Like, oh, super pigmented, super creamy. The only thing is that some of them can be a little bit patchy, like vintage and maybe, um, what shade was it? Um, Bot Mod, I think it was, that shade. A little bit patchy, but the dark shades are beautiful, creamy, buttery. Um, not patchy on the eyes. They go smoothly on the eyes. They blend like a dream. 
Um, but the rest are gorgeous, especially the dark shade, like smoked and that black. Oh, amazing pigment to them. Oh, uh, like I said, they're more on the drier side, but they're still creamy at the same time, if that makes sense. But overall, I give this palette a big thumbs up. Love it. Totally recommend it. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.